Hi everyone, welcome to Mama's Tube. Uh, epistemology is the other field of philosophy that studies about the nature and meaning of knowledge. What is knowledge? It studies in detail about uh, knowledge. Therefore, we, we can uh, call it as the theory of knowledge, this epistemology. So it studies about what is the nature of knowledge? What does knowledge mean? What, what is the scope of knowledge? And such kind of things are studied by the epistemology. Uh, therefore, uh, especially the scope, the meaning, and the nature uh, of uh, knowledge are very important in epistemology. Because uh, the issues of knowledge uh, in epistemology, the issues of opinion, the, the issues of truth, experience, and faith are, are other important points in epistemology. Well, uh, it's also referred to as the theory of knowledge. Why? Because it studies in detail about the meaning, the existence, and the scope of knowledge. Uh, the, the other definition of etymology is from the Greek point of view. The etymologically, we can define epistemology. Uh, and the two terms of epistemology are episteme, which means, this is a, a Greek term, which means uh, meaning, knowledge, understanding, and logos means the study. Therefore, it's the study of knowledge, it's the study of understanding, uh, we can define etymologically in this way uh, uh, for epistemology. In other words, we can say that epistemology is the study of the nature, source, and validity of knowledge. It tries to prove knowledge, to, to, uh, to check the sources of knowledge. What are the sources of knowledge? We will see uh, right now in detail about the sources of knowledge. So we can, we can, we can uh, list questions that can be raised in epistemology. What is knowledge? What does knowledge mean? What does mean to know? Is that going to college? Is that going to university? What does it mean to know? Is that learning from life? What is the source of knowledge? What are the sources of knowledge? Maybe universities, schools, colleges, our life, our religion, our family, who is the source of knowledge? Uh, they, they are important questions here that we can raise in epistemology. Uh, what makes knowledge different from belief, from belief or opinions? What makes it different? What is truth in epistemology? What does it mean when we say truth? And how, how can we know a statement is true or not? Because uh, there are different philosophical ideas that doubt about the existence of truth. There is no truth, there is no knowledge. Uh, some philosophical ideas uh, advocate like that. So, how can we know a statement if a statement is true or not? Is that through reason? Is that through justification? Or can reason even by itself really help us to know uh, phenomenal things without being informed by the sense of experiences, by the sense of uh, our organs, the five senses of organs? Can our senses experience really help us to know things beyond the perception? What is really knowledge means? Is that only uh, the, the things that we can see, that we can touch, that we can feel? Is that only the perception or the observation? Or without the assistance of our reasoning ability? Or through only through justifications? So, uh, these are major questions that you can uh, raise. What makes knowledge different from belief or opinion? What is truth? Uh, such kind of things are uh, major questions that we can raise. What is the relationship between faith and reason? Faith and reason are sometimes uh, quite different because reason, when we say reason or when we say logic, it, is, it should be something that we can prove practically or theoretically. But faith is believing. Uh, most of the time there is no uh, justification. You have to believe in order to understand, in order to know. So what is the difference? Is a question in epistemology. So it seeks answers to a number of fundamental issues. Uh, whether uh, things are uh, issues like truth, like knowledge, faith, reason. So uh, this ep epistemology tries to, to search and answers through investigation. Uh, for example, here, skepticism, uh, this is a different point of view. It's in narrow sense in this position, claiming people cannot acquire reliable knowledge and any search of truth is 
then in skepticism uh, there is no uh, proofing or there is no knowledge according uh, skepticism so how we can prove this it's dobiting a knowledge skepticism in skepticism uh, there are skeptics skeptics philosophers they say they approve they that they claim that there is no knowledge uh, so this uh, skepticism is a doctrine that true or knowledge in is uncertain they said they have a strong idea that uh, i'm saying here truth is vain that means uncertain knowledge is uncertain according skepticism uh, the matter of suspended judgment systematic dual or in character in skepticism uh, so here uh, well experienced philosopher we can mention the gorgeous the greek philosopher uh, gorgeous he asserted he advocated that nothing exists nothing exists and that if it did we could not know it according uh, so a full broken skepticism would make intelligent actions impossible according skepticism if an intelligent actions intelligent knowledge are nothing and they are impossible according skepticisms another term which is closely related to skepticism is agnosticism agnosticism is a profession of ignorance in reference to the existence or non-existence of knowledge uh, if one accepts the fact that there is truth and even truth in the universe how can human being comprehend such kind of truths how does it become human knowledge this is all for this video i hope you got it helpful and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.